Hi guys, it's Luke. So I'm here with a video on how to update the infotainment, the Uconnect Radio Nav 5 um, on the Alfa Romeo, the Fiat um, and the Abarth um, for the UK. Um, so this will update, give you an updated look of your infotainment. Um, it works for every, all of those brands because obviously they're all FCA. Um, the link I found thanks to this guy or Pisa, um, I got it from him um, on the Italian Alfa Romeo forums. So as you can see, there's like 35 pages of this forum. So there's a lot of time on Google Translate. Um, the forum is in Italian, but luckily because of the internet, I don't need to speak fluent Italian, which is a bonus. Um, so yeah, you need to click on this anticipation spoiler link. Um, I'll put a link both to the forum and to the actual Google Drive section as well for you to make it easier for you. But um, if you want to go and check out, if you get any problems, etc., they're still active on this forum. So there's a good chance they might be able to help. Um, I just know, worked out how to do the update. Um, again, all thanks to this forum and specifically Pisa for providing the update file. Um, so you just go to here, um, obviously it's a VPT, VP2CO 13.05, which is the update. Um, just download it. Um, I've already got mine downloaded here. Um, so obviously you need WinRAR or something like that. Um, and then you go extract files. Um, but first, you need to um, get a USB device. Um, here's mine with this is this is what the it all extracted looks like. Um, so first of all, though, you need to uh, go to here. Uh, go back quickly. Uh, let's just go to this PC. Uh, so you need to right click on it. Properties. You will need to format it. Now, it's a minimum of, I think it was two gigabytes on the forum. Um, I went for four, just in case, you know, you can never be too careful. Um, so you need to go to format. You need to make sure it's in FAT32 uh, for it to be installed. No idea why, it's just what it is. I'm sure someone can explain it, but that's just what it is. As you can see, this is a four gig or claimed four gig memory stick and it's used like 500 megabytes. Um, so you probably could get away with a two gig one, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just went with the four because it's what I had. Um, so yeah, once they're all installed on there, um, I will take you into the car um, and show you from there uh, how to do the update. Very simple. Um, and I've got some screenshots of when I did the update on mine. Obviously mine's updated now. Um, but I'll put those screenshots in as well if you'll see. Um, so two seconds, I will just get in the car and I'll join you there. Hi guys, so I'm in the car now. Um, I've got the USB stick for the update. Um, so what you need to do is you need to turn your car on and to do the update. I saw online that you have to um, have it on uh, but some people saying you don't. I just left mine on. Um, it doesn't take too long. It takes like 20 minutes at most. Um, so I just left mine on just in case because that's how you do it in the new Alphas as well. Um, and I don't know if it's the same for the new Fiat's as well. Um, so yeah, I'll start my car. Video to come shortly on this, by the way. Um, let's turn that down. That was a bit loud. The USB. Uh, needs to just plug into coincidentally where there's the USB port. So we just plug that in. Right. So obviously I'm not going to do the update on mine. As you can see, it's got the updated system anyway. But in a second, it should kick on and detect that the USB has gone in with the update files. There you go. Um, so yeah, you can see. Updating system current is 13.057.5. Upgrade to um, prox time 20 min uh, 30 minutes even. Um, as I said, mine took about 20. Um, so hopefully uh, for you guys it should take about the same time. But yeah, um, so you kick that on. There'll be some screenshots coming up um, showing you like the process that it goes through, um, all the different stages, etc. Um, but yeah. That was pretty much it. Um, so there'll be more stuff to come, um, more car related stuff. Uh, do a video on this soon, this car, once the weather clears up, because it's absolutely chucking it down at the moment, and I'm not doing it now, because it's filthy. Um, but yeah, 
hope that was helpful for you lot. Um, if you have any questions, then just ask. Um, if not, there's that link to the forums as well. They'll probably be able to answer your questions better than I do, because uh, I just use Google Translate and interpreted what they said, basically. Um, but yeah, hope this helps. See you later. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Bye.